<clears throat> Alright, what up? Canadian Sasquatch here. Coming at you with an Effort Friday on a Saturday. So, doing it on a Saturday because, well, trying not to drink during the week, including Fridays, to try and lose the old uh, gut. So, what we have here is a mess, but you can see the separation. So, down here, which it's actually three layers. So down at the bottom is a banana banana Foster's Dunkelweizen. And then in the middle area right around here, we have my uh, first attempt at a pineapple upside down beer, which I use too much cherry and maraschino liqueur. So it tastes a lot like cherry. And then up here we have Mr. Pineapple. So what we have in this glass is a fruit salad. Cheers. And that's not bad. So yeah, so here's the bananas foster. Like I said, it's a Dunkelweizen. Uh, I don't know if there's anything, uh, yeah, nothing too exciting on that. And then this is my uh, pineapple upside down beer. So how that came about is uh, my beautiful bride issues me a challenge for a birthday beer for her. Last year it was the pineapple upside down. Uh, version two was almost bang on. It had the uh, the pineapple, the cherry, the biscuity from the cake, and the caramel from like the sauce on the cake. Oh, it was, it was good. It did not last very long because it tasted so close to the, to the actual cake. Um, this year's is a fun challenge. Uh, and it falls in line with F It Fridays, half and halves. So her challenge to me was, she's from New York, so she wants a black and white cookie beer. So I'm going to do a lemon vanilla porter and a, that's going to be sweet. It's going to be really sweet. So it's going to be a sweet lemon vanilla porter and then a, chocolate stout just a punch in the face chocolate stout and then you pour them half and half style so you get the black and white so yeah so then continuing on with this one we have mr pineapple pineapple wheat beer so yeah so that's uh this week's uh half and half but it's actually a 333 so it's my fruit salad being banana, cherry, and uh, pineapple. Tropical fruit salad. And it's good. I highly recommend that combination. So it's, it's warm here in Texas. It's 100 degrees today. I've been doing yard work. I mowed the grass. I'm out here uh, turning my pile of wood into a workbench. So I've got the base of it mostly done. I just need to cut out the plywood for the bottom part here. But uh, the uh, miter gauge on my saw broke so I can't do any uh, any real uh, cross cutting with it until that gets fixed. So I've got to hit the store either later today or tomorrow and get that and then I can continue on because I still have all this plywood to cut up for this. A whole bunch more 2x4s for the top. I've got shelves to build, drawers to build, and of course the actual top itself. Nice solid. I'm trying to make it as solid as I can so it can be used for like hammering the snot out of stuff and whatever. So I could do a quick garden update while we're here. So the hops are doing a bit better. They've been climbing along, getting bushier, so this guy, I believe last week they were down around 
here. Now he's chugging away up this way. That one's kind of stalled out a little bit. He's got a couple extra shoots shooting off. Not worrying too much about them this year. It is their first year. And so everything was drenched last night. And everything is parched today. It is about 4 o'clock. And this guy really needs more water. He's starting to look pretty sad. I guess the uh, water in the composter is uh, starting to dry up now too. So, so yeah, you can, like, like I said, we drenched everything yesterday. And everything has just wilted. Welcome to Texas. Where in the summers it's hot and humid, and but there's not enough humidity to keep everything alive. So, anyways, that's it for me. Actually, no, let's chat about Homebrew Wednesday stuff too while I'm at it. Because here we are, we got, uh, I'm out here. We're in here, we've got the, we got the fermentation fridge going at 24.7 Celsius because I'm uh, carbonating. So this is actually my winter warmer bracket that I got going on in there. I bottled that last week. So I got that guy uh, in there fermenting because I always have issues with my brackets fermenting or, or uh, bottle conditioning. They don't carbonate up well and I think it's because I normally have them in the house and in the room it's usually too cold I think it's like we have the AC set to about 75 but that room there's no airflow and I keep it the doors closed and the windows I've got aluminum uh, uh, not aluminum siding stuff uh, this stuff here just uh, shiny, uh, reflective, ins kind of insulated stuff. So I have that on the windows in there as well to keep all the heat out. And it works a little too well. So I think it's usually in the, if the rest of the house is 75, it's like 60 something in there, which is a little too cold for getting things carbonated. But it's good for everything else that's sitting in there. I got my prickly pear meat in there. I need to rack that this weekend again. I have, what else I got? I got my spontaneous mead from the honey that I got from my buddy. And I also need to propagate more of his yeast. I use that yeast in my braggot for the SJ pour challenge. Uh, what else I got going on? Uh, prickly pear. I've got uh, another orange spice mead. I got about six gallons of that. Probably need to think about racking again next weekend or the weekend after. I need to get bottles for that. I'm going to bottle that one in uh, one and a half liter bottles because uh, that's a good party uh, mead. Everybody really likes it and it goes really well around Christmas time. So I'm going to bottle it in uh, one and a half liter bottles. And then as soon as I show up, I'm going to open them up so nobody's shy and watch the fun. What else do I got going on? I've got... Uh, well, I've got my beautiful bride's uh, star anise mead. So she wanted to do something with star anise, so it's got a nice licorice flavor. Um, and it's still cloudy as hell. I need to... I need to cold crash it and rack it. And see what happens there. Get that one up and going. And then... Uh, what else there's... I have more stuff in there, I don't remember. And then I need to find... 13 or 14 pounds of clover honey because I gotta get my fireball mead going. And yeah. Oh, and uh, the 
I'm just staring off over here instead of the camera. My apologies. Um, yeah. So the Canadian Sasquatch Brewery Mead Challenge. Um, just about everybody has everything. Um, we're still waiting on getting the the uh, meads from uh, the Welsh brewer. Uh, Dave, have you sent them? Where are they? Uh, arms getting tired here. Um, so yeah, so as soon as we get those ones, uh, actually those are, that's the only one left that I have to do. I don't know how everybody else is doing with theirs. Uh, I do need to get my videos edited and upload it because I do have video footage of reviewing them. And yeah. So I think that's enough rambling for me for now. So uh, cheers, everybody. Be sure to have a pint of awesome. I know I will. And uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend or week or whenever you watch this video. Cheers. Oh, that is so good.